learning activity for how the sarcomere, the sliding filament theory works, okay? So, again, it starts with acetylcholine, neuromuscular junction, binding to its receptor, receptor. Sodium is going to enter the cell, going to change and excite along the membrane into the T-tubules. That's going to lead calcium to get liberated from our sarcoplasmic reticulum. Calcium is now in my cytoplasm, and it tries to find all my troponin, which is my little tiger tail. It binds to troponin, and they undergo a conformational change. Tropomyosin now is pulled away from my binding sites. Everybody showing the little black binding spots? All right. Now I can cross bridge, and myosin can interact with some of my binding spots, and I have ATP present. Now, ATP is going to break one of those bonds, so I'm going to have ADP, and it's going to let my myosin pull my actin towards my center. They're going to disconnect, disconnect, and then we're going to have ATP come back and join my myosin. Calcium is still bound to my troponin, so myosin hooks in again, uses more energy, pulls again, disconnects. ATP comes back, hook in. As long as they can hook in, power stroke, phosphorylate. And then the minute calcium starts getting pumped, tropomyosin covers them up. And then again, we let those elastic recoil forces, we let those intrinsic forces pull my actin back to their resting spot. So hopefully this explains a little bit better who's involved. And what are the key molecules, okay? So we have to have continuous ATP. Calcium still has to be liberated. And remember, it starts with acetylcholine.